MMS stands for Meteorological Measurement System. It's an instrument that measures in situ uh, data. In situ meaning right at the aircraft, not far away, right at the skin. Uh, our primary data is uh, static pressure, static temperature, uh, three-dimensional winds, which is horizontal wind and vertical winds. And from the winds, we can also have turbulence measurement. The challenge of wind measurement is because you're flying at the same time that you're trying to measure wind as if you're not flying. Right? Imagine you're driving your car and there's some winds going on, but you're moving with the car. If you stick your head out, it's your moving plus the real wind. So the way to calculate the real wind is you take whatever wind that blasting your head and you subtract out the car motion. So that, that's how we do it. So it's really, you, you measure the real the air motion with respect to the airplane, and then you measure the airplane motion with respect to the ground. The instrument measure in real time at 300 hertz but the data that we send down is at one hertz, just for decision making and quick, quick data look. But we actually store the data in flight at a much higher rate. To measure the, the they call it the ground speed, which is the, the velocity with respect to the ground, we use inertial navigation system. I have this one right here, but this is a tactical grade. It's not very good. Uh, we also sampled the aircraft one. This, this gray unit here, this is a ring laser INS. It's a navigational grade. It's about almost 100 times more accurate than the small one we have over there. So that, that, those two units would give you how fast you're going with respect to the ground. You know, it will give you north, south, and up north. The other equation is how the air is moving with respect to the, the, the aircraft, the fuselage. And the way we do that is this probe here. This is a, a pedal probe. See, this little hole here, it sends, it's like when you stick your head out of the, uh, your car, the blast of pressure. So if you're not moving, this pressure is the same as non-moving pressure. But if you're moving, this pressure is higher. So this is called total pressure. So that's, that kind of tells you how fast you're going. So the, the other thing you have to measure also is temperature. And that's what this sensor here is over here. There's an there's a, the element in here. Some of the air goes through, some of it turn up and bend around. And inside, there's a Temperature, uh, platinum wires, temperature sensors. The other place we sense the uh, static pressure, which is the pressure that's like the airplane's not moving, is on the side of the aircraft. So we have a static port over here, and we have one on the other side. So that go on the bottom of this airplane. And these are pressure transducers. It basically converts whatever pressure into a, a signal. This is a very special sensor. It's, it's uh, temperature compensated. The other component we need is which direction the wind's coming from, right? Because if you're moving along and the wind coming that way, you, know, you, you have to know what's coming from there or from the top. And we do that by these, these pressure holes. So for example, if you fly along and there's no lateral wind. Both of these pressure are the same. But say this side have the wind coming this way. This hole would have higher pressure than this one. So we measure the difference between these two pressures. So, and then we also have one up here and one on top, which is on that fuselage over there. So the difference in those pressures give you the, the angle of the wind coming from. So for example, th these pressure sensors give you a signal the difference between those pressure so it is the same you get like zero volt so this side high you get plus or this side high you get minus kind of thing 
So all the signal come here and this is the, the data system. But this, this is basically, it's, it's all right here. Every airplane needs to know almost the same data, but regular airplane doesn't need to know down to the position that the scientists need. Because if you're a little wrong, the equations or the, uh, the calculation is, is off. So it's, it's a fundamental per, uh, measurement because a lot of other data depends on it. It's uh, because it's a basic uh, value in a lot of other calculations.